Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to the spaciousness and the friendliness of this gathering. I'm Linda Graham, longtime friend and colleague of Rick's, and even longer time meditator in the Buddhist Theravadan insight meditation tradition that we share. And I try to weave the practices from this meditation tradition into the psychotherapy work that I do as a clinician for the last 30 years, and also integrating these practices into the mindful self-compassion protocol <laughs> as I've taught it for a decade. So it's a privilege and an honor and a blessing to be here with you this evening to share this time and space. We'll have about a 30 minute guided meditation and then about a 10 minute break. And then about a 30 minute Dharma talk with time after that for Q&A. So as you let yourself arrive and settle into this quiet and stillness, into a sense of presence and presencing, you can close your eyes if you wish. You can soften your eyes into a soft gaze. Allow yourself to let go of the worries and concerns of the day. And I know there may be many, many. Letting go of any disappointment that Rick isn't teaching tonight. Or any startle or curiosity that I am teaching tonight. Focus your awareness on your own experience of sitting. And slowing down. And settling in. You may focus your awareness on your breathing on the rhythm of your breathing, on the miracle of your breathing, sustaining your life, sustaining awareness moment by moment. Let yourself be aware of anything you're experiencing in the moment, the gentle rhythm of breathing, the rhythmic sounds of your breathing, anything you notice anywhere in your body, the sensations of sitting, or shifting slightly, or stretching slightly, or sighing slightly. Let yourself be aware of experiences of your mind, any embracing or shrinking from the processing of this moment, any reactivity or evaluation or judgment, any yes or any yuck. And I will suggest here a skillful way of allowing and being with any experience or sensation or memory or opinion or preference that you're noticing. It's a simple ABC. A is to be aware, to allow, and to accept. This can be a very deep and lifelong practice. Of course, it's the heart of our mindfulness practice. To be aware, to allow, and to accept whatever the content, whatever the process, to be aware and allow and accept. B is to be with and to befriend. So the Buddhist meditation teacher, Sylvia Borstein teaches, may I accept this moment fully? May I accept it as a friend? So aware, allowing, accepting, being with, befriending. And the C is to bring compassion or calm or caring and curiosity to whatever is unfolding in the moment. Compassion and calm and clarity for yourself, for the experience you're having. It's an active, choiceful awareness and engagement of your experience of the moment. So I'm going to lead us in a guided meditation on the Brahma Viharas, the heavenly abodes the divine virtues of Buddhist tradition. And why that particular focus, I'll make clearer in the Dharma talk. So the Brahma Viharas are seen to be both the state of mind and heart that we want to cultivate and the practice, the path of practices that will help us access those states. The Brahma Viharas are experience that, experiences that open us to an awareness of the sacred, the divine, the beingness, that holds and is the source of our existence, of all of existence, of our connections to all of existence. 
And if there's resistance or rejoicing in this practice, use the practice of ABC as the container of that to allow, accept, be with, befriend, bring compassion to your experience. So we begin with metta, which is translated as loving kindness. It is also called loving presence or loving awareness. So quietly, gently let yourself bring to your mind a moment, any moment, just one moment, when you experienced kindness from another person. A moment of kindness and generosity of heart. A loving or respectful acceptance of you. A gesture or a gift of kindness that was helpful to you, useful to you, that touched your awareness and your being in some gentle way. Let yourself be aware of the moment as you recall it. Allow the moment to rest in your awareness. Accept that it happened just as it did. Be with any other feelings that arise as you remember this moment and befriend them. And bring any curiosity or caring or compassion that you need to be with and befriend this moment. Remembering a moment of kindness that you received. And if it's difficult to recall a specific memory of receiving kindness, be kind to yourself for experiencing the difficulty. Aware, allowing, and accepting that. So let yourself rest in the feeling of the experience of that memory. Letting yourself receive the warmth, the opening, the softening of that moment of kindness offered with love and care and respect. Notice where you might be feeling this in your body, in your breathing, in your heart center. And let yourself savor the experience for a moment and gently remain aware of the awareness that allows you to experience this moment and will rest here for a moment or two. And now let yourself bring to mind a moment when you were kind to another human being, when you felt and expressed a sense of loving kindness toward this person, whether that was a real gesture in a real moment in real time, or whether it was an offering in your imagination, in your practice. When you felt open in your heart to this other person, a moment of sending a heartfelt wish of joy or gratitude for this person, wishing them happiness and well-being. And let the memory of this moment rise in your awareness. Allow it to be there. Accept it just as it is. Be with your experience and befriend it. Be friendly and kind to yourself as you remember the moment of your own kindness. And if it seems helpful, bring curiosity or caring or compassion to your own experience. Let yourself feel the warmth, the opening, the softening of that moment of kindness you offered with open-heartedness, love, and respect. And again, remaining aware of the awareness that allows you to experience this moment. 
and we'll rest here for a moment. Now the second Brahma Vihara, Karuna, which is translated as compassion, which is a presence and loving awareness in the face of suffering, in the face of any pain or loss or grief or upset or discombobulation. So you bring to mind a moment when you've received a felt sense of this compassion from another person, someone who listened and who cared, and who stayed present, and who stayed accepting. And let yourself feel the warmth and the support and the healing of that gesture of compassion. Your experience of allowing and receiving that kind of compassion. So this practice may re-evoke the cares and the concerns of the day. And you can practice the ABC model as you recall this memory of receiving compassion or caring from another. You're aware, you're allowing, you're accepting, you're being with and befriending this sense of yourself for receiving this experience and even bringing some curiosity and caring and compassion for the experience of receiving compassion. Let yourself feel the warmth, the support, the healing of that gesture of compassion, your experience of allowing and receiving it. And let yourself be aware of the awareness that allows you to have the experience. And we'll rest here for a moment. And now call to mind a moment when you felt compassion for another, another person or a fellow animal, because our pets and the birds in our backyard can reliably evoke these experiences of caring and supporting another sentient being. Let the memory arise in your awareness, allowing it to be there, allowing any other feelings that arise with this memory to be there allowing and accepting, being with your experience right now in this moment, being with any other feelings that arise in this moment, befriending yourself as you remember offering care and compassion to another person, being curious and caring as needed for this moment of offering compassion. Let yourself remember the warmth, the opening, the softening of that moment of the compassion you offered as genuine care and conscious connection. And let yourself remain aware of the awareness 
allowing this moment of experience. And we'll rest here for a moment. Now the third Brahma Vihara is Mudita, which is translated as empathic joy. So call to mind a moment when you experienced another person's genuine heartfelt joy in a moment of blessing or accomplishment or satisfaction of yours. Genuine happiness for your happiness. And become aware of your experience of receiving this kind of joy from another person for your own self. Allow and accept any other feelings that arise in you with this moment of feeling another person's joy and delight for you. Being with the experience, befriending yourself as you allow the experience. Bring in curiosity or care and compassion for yourself is needed. As you take in and savor the experience, let yourself savor the warmth, the lightness, the goodness of that moment. And let yourself remain aware of the awareness that is allowing you this experience. And we'll rest here for a moment. And now call to mind your delight in another person's good fortune, your joy for their joy in their happiness and the blessings of their life. And let yourself feel the effervescence, the bubbling up, the buoyancy of that moment of joy. It may feel like clapping your hands or shouting hurrah. And let yourself be aware of and be with and celebrate that moment of your heart's joy in another heart's joy. And if that's helpful, being aware and allowing and accepting all the feelings that might arise as you evoke this feeling of joy for another. Be with them and befriend them and bring curiosity and care and compassion for the entire experience of remembering your empathic joy in another's joy. And let yourself remain aware of the experience, allowing this moment of experience. And we'll rest here for a moment.
And now the fourth Brahma Vihara, translated as it's Opeka, translated as equanimity. It's a state of mind and heart of calm and serenity and tranquility of equilibrium, especially in the face of the inherent suffering and the existential unpredictability of life's unfoldings with its ups and downs. So remember a moment of experiencing someone else's calm, their serenity, even in a moment of startle or difficulty. And remember if sharing in that moment, sharing in their beingness in that moment, it helped you recover a sense of equanimity, of balance, of acceptance, even within you. And let your feeling of your own experience sharing in another person's calm and equanimity resonate in you. Be aware and allow and accept whatever you're experiencing in this moment. Being with it. Befriending it. Bring a sense of curiosity and caring and compassion for the other person sharing their calm with you and you're experiencing the calm of of another being as you find your own calm. And let yourself remain aware of the awareness allowing this experience. And we'll rest here for a moment. And then remember a moment when you experienced equanimity yourself. A sense of calm and ease and okayness, even when something difficult or disruptive was happening. And how that sense of calm and evenness may have helped people around you. Someone you were with find their calm and their equanimity again too. So you be aware of the entire memory of that moment as it comes to your awareness. Allow it, the nuances of it, accept all the flavors of it. Be with yourself with friendliness as you remember this moment of your own calm in the presence of another. And bring curiosity and caring and compassion to the complexities of this experience. And let yourself remain aware of the awareness. It's allowing you to have this experience. And we'll rest here for a moment.
And then take another moment, these last few moments of our meditation, to deepen into the awareness altogether that allows us to be aware and allowing and accepting of all of these moments, the sense of loving kindness, a sense of compassion, a sense of joy in another person's joy, a sense of equanimity for all of life's unfolding. So awareness of the awareness that allows us to accept it all with friendliness, clarity, and compassion. So the rest of our meditation period, about five minutes to deepen into this practice. <laughs> 